What's good, YouTube land? That word collector here. Next up, continuing with Earth Rise, it's Hoist. Here's his box. There's a dynamic picture of Hoist. Yes, his name is, in fact, Hoist. There's the top. There's that same awesome action, same shot. And on the back, Hoist in obligatory product shots on the bottom you got nothing so yeah here is hoist himself i like him but i think he has more problems than wheeljack did so we also have a direct comparison also straight from generations other hoist He is a full head bigger. This guy is the biggest in the the wave one of the deluxes. And for comparison, these are both deluxe class toys. Yeah. These are both the same price point. They cost the same. So... This guy is way is designed way more to be cartoon accurate, while this guy, this is IDW hoist from what I understand. This is out of the comics. And looking at, it, I've never, I haven't, I don't particularly like this guy's truck mode, and we'll get into that in the actual vehicle mode. Uh, this guy looks really good. I'm gonna. I want to bring in Wheeljack because I was gonna save this plot, this uh, th uh, idea for the end of the review, but I'll do it now in Roboto. These guys, I think they express completely different sensibilities when it comes to transformation. Wheeljack, complete like he, uh, I I had in my head, he's made of his alt mode. He's a dude. That's made of of a made up of a car. All his limbs become parts of the car. Like he's he's a car man. This guy, he's kind of just wearing a truck. Like when we get to transformation, you'll see only his chest and these flaps actually make up uh, recognizable parts of a truck. Like his legs don't look like they make anything make up anything of a truck. And you'll see more of that in the vehicle. We, uh Cliff Jumper I consider kind of in the middle. He he is made up of his alt mode with his feet and his uh chest becoming parts of the car, but he also is kind of wearing his car cuz his hands just fold away and get covered up by the bumper. So uh yeah. It's weird to kind of articulate that, that sentiment then. Uh, biggest issue with Hoist's robot mode, I'll get it right out, out, out of the way right away. How easy is it to see this? Maybe like this. He's hollow in the middle. He's got, here, I'll show. Partially detransform him. There's nothing in there. It's. Like, that's not a big issue, but these panels right here, like, just hanging off the shoulder are, while unfortunately accurate to the toy, I think they should have re been reworked somehow, like, just to maybe incorporate into his chest or something, like, fill out the inside of his chest, because... And take away these panels because they're really awkward. They look not good. They are the wor the least attractive part of this guy. But that being said, I I definitely feel like I am a hoist. <laughs> He's a chunky boy with skinny limbs. Yep, <laughs> I can definitely relate to that. Uh, take a look at the head. Very nice head sculpt. Very accurate to hoist. I like the uh, sort of medieval 
knight helmet face plate style and the uh, kind of sullen blue eyes i don't know there's something about the eyes that are like like a like a kid or a dog trying to beg for like you know sad puppy dog eyes that's kind of what it reminds me of just the the uh the low like the curve at the bottom and just the flat at the top for some reason reminds me of that i do kind of wish his head was more toy accurate green like the same green that matched the rest of the toy but i can understand why they went for a black head because a black head's more cartoon accurate if i recall I do like the shade of green, kind of deep, almost, almost mossy kind of green, which kind of, which, which is a good contrast to the bright white and the bright orange. He's not quite grapple shade of orange. He's a little bit duller than that, which actually works well because this guy is just so bright. Hello, grapple. We haven't seen you in a while. I do I do play with Grapple occasionally though. I still have fun with Grapple. Uh but eh. and he does have a little bit of black and silver to break it up. Uh what else? He's one of the only ones in Earthrise, at least so far, to retain the sort of uh battle damage motif right like right here. Like, he has battle damage right there. And unfortunately, there's a problem with that when... Okay, so this panel... This panel is completely translucent blue plastic. Painted over green and then painted with the battle damage. That means uh, one thing. So you... With the, with the rest of them, the uh, Siege toys, you could use a solution or something to uh, get rid of the battle damage because it was painted on solid plastic. Like, the the plastic was cast in the color and then paint, then the battle damage was painted on, so you could remove it. You, you, can, you can remove this, but you would also rem remove, heavily damage the green paint behind it and probably damage the translucent blue plastic. So, unfortunately... It's not recommended that you try and remove the battle damage. I do like the giant uh, Autobot badge on his hood, though. On his hood chest. And other than that, he's just kind of skinny. His limbs are skinny. There's not much to say. He's a bit hollow uh, in the shins, unfortunately. He's got a backpack, which has, which can do a variety of things we will get into. That thing is supposed to be up, not down. As for accessories, he does have this thing, which I guess Mars eh, are supposed to resemble his G1 weapon. The peg is... I like the fact that it covers his hands. That's kind of cool. You don't get to see that much nowadays in, in weapons, like the full... To represent a hand transforming into the weapon. Like, uh, Ironhide does that a lot. Because there's a variety of things. He could transform his hand out and have a variety of things pop out of his hands. At least G1 Ironhide. Uh, his joints are awkward. At least up here. So his head is on a ball joint. Lots of range. Lots of waggle. His shoulders, they're angled like this. They, as much as it, I want to, they can't go in because they, they, they hit stuff. So it's like his his rotation is not straight up. It looks awkward. His outward motion looks even more awkward because the panel stays there. Like it stays behind. Like it hugs the arm here. Okay, I can understand moving like that, but moving out, it it looks awkward. The elbow, though, deep bend beyond 90 degrees. Very nice deep bend. And he does have a bicep swivel and a wrist swivel that is tighter than the bicep swivel. So we're moving the bicep when I wanted to be moving the wrist because I forgot about the bicep. Wrist swivel. Very nice. 
waist swivel kind of uh, hindered by the back panel because the back panel tabs in so it's a so it kind of it hits it and it forces its way out you can just pop it off to get the full rotation but you don't really I don't think you need to because uh there, darn it there because it, it goes that far and do you really need more than that on both sides uh, hips go all the way forward universal joints backwards all the way out thigh swivel he does have a double knee bend due to transformation you can go all the way back like that so he can do some very very deep tiger knees very nice boom hit you with hit you with that kneecap action action <laughs> uh and he's got an ankle tilt i wish he had the uh, forward ankle joint as well because ankle tilt feels a little bit limiting like you can use it for posing but like i still would like a forward and backward hinge Oh, and these things keep flopping down. And yeah. Uh, robot mode's got some faults. But they're kind of... You can look past them. Because unless you're looking for them, they're not like... Like, this is the biggest issue, but it's... Uh, not that... Like, it is somewhat, of an, an, somewhat annoying in the fact that I wish... Again, I wish they had taken further time and engineered that panel away so like it it could fold up or something like fold maybe fold up so at least it wasn't so long like collapse fold into his chest because it looks i'm gonna keep mentioning it looks very awkward he has a lot of range he can do oh i don't know what i'm doing with my arms but uh um it's not oh he's doing the a he's doing the y M. he's doing the a there you go it's exactly what he's doing the y m c a a hoist a for a hoist and i still think this will make a decent cliff jump uh not wow trail <laughs> breaker because he, he, it's already been confirmed he's getting repainted, not remolded, unfortunately, but repainted into a uh, trailbreaker, and you'll have a new head. Well, it'll be nice to see what this looks like in uh, black and red. It'll look exactly like this guy looks in black and red. It'll be actually no difference. Because everywhere there's a hoist, there's a trailbreaker. They, they are Mold Brothers cursed for life to be repaints of each other which means which is what mold brothers mean so okay transformation you can start by folding that white bit in fold this uh back up scale out of the way fold those up unpeg it and you can fold it down it's on a double hinge take the head fold it all the way in like that so that'll cover that up this transformation is a bit awkward in places you can take the fa the feet there's a uh that hole right there pegs into that tab on the back of the thigh do that on both sides and you're kind of well you're one step you have one more step but you're pretty much done with the legs now the rest of the transformation is in the arms it's uh very awkward you have to rotate that the uh front of the truck all the way up like that and then you could do this now but it's better to do to rotate these fold them down and then you have to fold the arm all the way forward and then back like uh like this so how do i best show this off for fold that down Fold this all the way down, and then you can tab in 
the uh, back of the truck. And also it, the uh, flaps, tab in, uh, sort of tab in to like not not very well, but they sort of tab in to. Uh... Oh come on! I have to show this off somehow. That little uh, port right there on the right there. But they'll they'll uh, peg in more solidly. When you get the uh, first, you have to also tuck the arms in like that, and then you can uh, tab this section of the truck into the lines, into the uh, sides of it, and then this backpack will come all the way down, and it will actually uh, peg into these tabs right here, peg into holes ports on both sides actually it has to has to snap in on that double hinge for it to get in there will it come on don't don't fight me there we go it's coming to bits up it's coming apart it seems come on There we go. Oh, and last things you can do, a little bit of touching up, you can fold those out. And if you want, you can uh, fold that down or you can leave it up. We'll leave it up for a second to just to talk about the truck like this. Here is Hoist vehicle mode. I like this truck, but that right there. That's my that's an issue with this truck. Not if I take this up, if I take this off to show you, that doesn't really look like a truck bed to me. It looks like a bit of silver on some green. So it's trying to resemble a truck bed, but like that's that's what I was saying in the engineering He's just a dude. He's a dude wearing a truck because the bits of him that are a robot really don't become a truck. Like his arms just stick out right there. His like you can see his shins. His feet are trying, but even then they're covered up. Like even if I take this panel off. The panel is trying to act like the bed of the truck more than the shins are. Because this is a tow truck, specifically designed for towing. I love how it has a dummy tertiary wheel. It's not even a dummy wheel, it's just like a tertiary wheel on this piece that has the uh, tab so you could connect it to Astro Train or. Uh, uh, Omega Supremes. Uh, wings like it has this connection this uh the universal I, I forget what it's called actually i can have the ability to look it up where is it um... oh it doesn't it doesn't even i couldn't even find the name of it but this connection that can connect there yeah. so even though <laughs> i guess like the front of none no vehicles have that piece he could technically like haul astro trains trailer or like no i don't know what you can haul nothing has come out well iron works i don't have iron works yet but there's no real vehicles you can't like uh I don't have wheel jack set up, but like you can't hook it up to wheel jack and have him tow wheel jack. Let me, I love wheel jack. Let me transform him very quickly. Do, 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 do. I, why am I, 
I guess I'm doing this just to prove a point somehow. I, I guess not prove a point, but show off. Just how fun these things are to transform. Bop, bop. So he can't, he can't tow Wheeljack, unfortunately. Wheeljack doesn't have any of that connector, connection piece on him. If it were like here, I could understand, like, because you do occasionally have to tow trucks like this. Nope. Other than that, I like the uh, the danger stripe, the yellow and black and white. The bits of it that are a truck, like this part, look really good. They look like a really cool truck. Like the the grill is silver. You don't have a place. There's no place for a license plate, so you're probably gonna get. He's actually gonna get. That's hilarious. A tow truck is going to get towed itself but the translucent plastic gives you a good windscreen and headlights in blue along with turn signals and the black pieces do definitely resemble side mirror uh, side windows he also has not it doesn't really have them but like faux uh rear view mirrors they're just a tiny fleck of green plaf uh, translucent plastic, but they kind of they're in the spot to resemble uh, rear view mirrors. But it's 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 the under kibble, yeah. And the under kibble doesn't actually get in the way. Like the best way I can. Like he rolls pretty well, not amazingly, but like he, there's just enough clearance. To get these wheels freely spinning, they spin a lot better than wheel jacks. Fortunately, they spin like these old ones, but they're a bit thinner. Um, yeah. Uh, there's depth. There's quite quite a bit of molded in detail on the uh, this section. But other than that, you really, it's a good truck. You do actually have tail lights as well. Nicely painted in. They actually remembered to do that. And the bow damage. Mm. But yeah. That's unfortunate that his limbs couldn't become part of the truck. It's kind of that, the uh, in the sense, that same style as the movie. The movie Transformers. Oh, he has 5mm pegs. Like there. Where the uh, the uh, the I think the idea of the movies is, let's have a robot wearing a car, like the robots never really like they're bit they're ah uh, um what's the best way to example this this is a. Uh, Ironhide, Voyager Ironhide from the movies. The, the, the brand deal was so focused on cars, it's ne it was never, how do we turn this car into a robot? It's how do we have an awesome looking vehicle that's accurate to the real world thing, but kind of have a robot wearing it. Like his arms right there don't become parts of the, aren't, integrate into the truck his legs are barely integrated but i'm rambling but this this guy is such a good example of a, a car like a, a robot car like it's a robot that's also a car not a robot wearing a car he's a robot that turns into a car so he looks like a car But uh, not to say that there's necessarily completely something like this design idea is wrong. 
it's like it can work it still can work it's just it's kind of unfortunate you i like to see more designs in like this than like this one because when you just hide the limbs under the car it, it does look messy and it it can it can uh it can create problems uh weapon storage isn't very good the box just tells you to do that or the instructions just tell you to do that but you do have four five millimeter pegs so you could plug the gun up there or plug it in there surprisingly lack well okay i i forgot i didn't i failed to mention he has five millimeter ports on the sides of his arms or his bicep uh, his forearms, and he doesn't seem to have any on his thighs. Although you could actually plug it into the the uh, thing the wheel is connected to, but it would limit the wheel's mo <laughs> uh, motion. So you know, weapon storage on these guys not the best. But we do have one final comparison to make, and that's with this guy. So I could transform him. But, and again, I didn't mention it. This guy feels a lot thinner than this guy. This guy, you can just hear by the sound, not very much rattling. It's only the wheels that are rattling. This guy, much, much different noise. Although, again, that actually is just the wheels rattling. But that's how the, the wheels are a good example of the different materials and the different construction. Just... Hmm. Compared to 2013, compare, uh, comparing 2013 to 2019 slash 2020. Well, I, I guess comparing to C. No, Earthrise is just strictly 2020. Yeah, so compared seven years later, the prices have gone up, but the engineering has also gone up. At least in some instances, because they're still simplified and... Kind of not that great toys being put out for kids in the Transformers lines. Let's this is supposed to let's say the line for adult collectors has improved in uh, quality. Like there was kind of a point where, let's say in the early two thousands in the Uni Unicron trilogy, the plastic was uh here I have a good, good, good example. This guy, this guy's a good example of early two thousands. Cybertron engineering and then it kind of took a nosedive for a bit as like the economy and stuff happened so things got like plastic got cheaper and thinner over the years but it's came back up to close to this point but better than this because this is a very simplistic transformation but the transformations have gotten more complex, but the plastic and the quality is as good. But here's uh, IDW Hoist in his awkward little, and I use little sparingly, uh, truck mode. I There's something about this truck I, I've never really liked. Maybe it's because the headlights look way more like a car. They're, and I say small, they're almost the same size in truck mode. This guy gets huge because of the double jointed legs versus the single jointed uh, fold out legs. But like, they are not much. They are not much different size wise. But just in the quality, there's this, he, he's barely got the danger stripes. This guy, although I guess I have to 
give him his weapon to 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 make him a full uh, oh. it wouldn't be it wouldn't be good for a tow truck to not be able to pick up something come on peg in damn you oh it won't fit like that it really does have to be No, it shouldn't. Should be able to. Because the only point of a crane truck is like, yeah, do it like that. There. Like that. I don't know. I thought this guy was okay when I got him, but compared to how much, I guess, are you arguably better the uh, new version is? Yeah, I wouldn't really go for this guy, even if you even if you found him cheap. Like, definitely. As soon as I saw a new hoist, I knew I was gonna pick him up. Because this guy is uh, not quite good. He's okay. He's awkward. This guy is an improvement, but he still has some flaws. Like, I wouldn't... Oh, don't hold the transformation against him, but the, the long panels not incorporating into the robot mode better is the biggest knock I could give him. Whether that's a big, too big a knock to overcome for you is up to you. I like him. I would still give him a, a recommend. I'd still give him a check. He's not amazing. He is good. He's not wheeljack good, unfortunately. Just who could, who even could be wheeljack good? You know. I still think he's not he's not skippable. He's he's worthwhile. And uh hmm. Do I have a tow truck pun I could Ooh. Ooh. Knock the wheel out. Uh tell you next time. I, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Until next time, stay safe and keep it weird. Bye.